All right, these are some pictures from my latest Hazer build. I've gotten rid of the five gallon bucket and switched to a $20 toolbox from Lowe's. Uh, I've also upgraded the fan to a four inch um, DC fan from uh, Radio Shack. Uh, it runs at 3,000 rotations per minute. I've also switched over to utilizing a copper pipe that runs into my Hazer. Um, and uh, then there's a fitting on the end where I can run the air hose to. The wires coming out, the, the big wire going into the interior of the Hazer is the, uh, a fountain pump and the smaller wire is the DC fan. Um, that's the fan bolted to, from the inside of the lid. All right, so there's a fountain pump in the bottom of, of the reservoir, the bottom of the, uh, of the toolbox, and the fountain pump pumps the fluid up and into the tray uh, reservoir there, and uh, then the fluid is allowed to drip down um, through that hole and it, it drips onto the copper pipe. Now in the copper pipe, at the point where the, uh, the fluid hits the pipe, uh, facing um, horizontally, I have a, a hole uh, drilled in the pipe so the, the CO2 is forced through that hole and uh, that process atomizes the uh, fluid, the mineral oil, and produces the haze. What I'm using for haze is still uh, food grade mineral oil from Walmart. Um, I buy it for like a dollar forty a, a pint. You would probably need something like 15 to 20 pints to get started, but if I had to guess, you're going to go through a pint a month. So the biggest cost in this is the CO2. Um, I'm currently uh, running this at 15 psi. The higher the, the psi I've noticed, the, the higher the output for the hazer. Our room is something like 4,500 square feet with a 30 foot ceiling and uh, this new Hazer build will fill that room in about 10 minutes without the, uh, the heat or AC running and uh, uh, about double that with it running. So um, this is really doing the job for us. With all that said, I really hope that uh, this helps you guys out and uh, saves you some money ultimately.